the universe, you know, this is the kick in the butt that I needed. And sometimes it happens in a way that we didn't intend. We didn't want to be like, oh, it went downhill. Now what do I do to make up for this income? You don't want to have to deal with that. You can now be a sub with a GED. So you could be someone who dropped out of, out of high school for whatever reason. You took a GED exam and now you are in a room with youth teaching the next generation and theoretically dropped out of school, got a GED, probably should not be your first pick to be in a room with youthful minds, inspiring them to stay in school and do their work. Hello all, so it's like 70 degrees out and I'm wearing my sweater. Before I was wearing two sweaters, I think I'm gonna sneeze. I'm okay. I had a cold like over a week ago, but I feel better. Ignore, you may have noticed that I'm taking a walk with my, I think I just rubbed my nose with the knuckle that I pressed the elevator with that fat one. Um, that I'm walking with my blue stuffed animal friend. You are correct about that. Um, it's not insanity. Ooh, iguana. This is, oh, many iguanas. I don't know if you can see them, but it's like a lion king meets dinosaur. They're there. Are there many iguanas? Ooh, this one looks like a dinosaur. I will show you the dinosaur. Ooh, this one really looks like a dinosaur. Look at that thing. It looks like, like a raptor. Ooh. Show your friend to it. Ooh, okay. Hold it up. Iguana. Do you want to meet? my friend hello so that's dad by the way you know that if you've been following my channel so i'm taking a walk and um today is thursday when i'm filming this tomorrow's friday um normally i would go into sub tomorrow um something that's been happening in addition to everything else i've been talking about in the environment of the school i work at is when we transition from being Miami-Dade County school employees to Kelly Education, which is an agency, we got outsourced. So I originally said to them my concern, which was we have been loyal subs working at this school environment. What is stopping someone off the street from taking our job? And they would laugh at us, the sub caller and the school and be like, that's not a concern. So basically my question was, if the teacher posts on the site that there's a job, uh, Mrs. So-and-so's first grade class, she posted on the site, what is stopping someone who has never been to the school before from clicking accept and showing up at the school? Even though I've worked here for four years and the answer was nothing. And that's exactly what's been happening in addition to everything else I've been talking about. That uh, you're walking around the school on a day that somehow you were there and noticing all these people there who have never been there before. Some of them had seen, there was one person who showed up who seemed to have like an aggressive personality. I'm not just saying that, they were like, it was just odd. She was like calling out at people and like calling out at me. It was very odd. Uh, I only saw them one day. But today is Thursday and I wasn't getting scheduled. It, it had become 2.30 or so and I realized you know, this is a situation where the sub caller is going to either schedule me 11, 12 at night or 530 in the morning, as I told her not to do. And it's going to mess with my head. And I have a second job that's very important to me. And I have to protect my mental state and basically block it off. So I went onto the site and I typed exactly that. I said, you know, it's it's 230. I was available, but I'm going to block it off because you know, I'm not feeling well at this point. And that's exactly what happened, even if you want to say it's mental. So, um, <clears throat> you know, when the transition first happened, we got an email that said, this is great, you're gonna be able to work every day, which in theory is true. The, the, the story is though, you're not working every day. I went from working 16 plus days a month to it could be right now, I've worked three days this month, or I will. Um, that, that could be the average. The sub caller is spreading the love amongst every sub. I'm the last picking. Um, strangers off the street <clears throat> who, because now with the subbing, another reason that it's become so accessible, that's why they wanted to do it because they wanted to be able to have an endless supply of random people showing up um, instead of having to do their job and schedule 
reliable subs that had an education. At one point, you actually have a bachelor's degree to be a sub. And then they lowered it to an AA, and they lowered it to 60 credits. And um, I think that's where it was at. It was always at 60 credits, There's some type of college education. Background check, all those things. Now, I guess technically a background check, but you can now be a sub with a GED. So you could be someone who dropped out of, out of high school for whatever reason, you took a GED exam, and now you are in a room with youth teaching the next generation, and that's very disturbing. You know, I'm not saying someone who has a GED can't excel in life. I'm just saying that someone who theoretically dropped out of school, got a GED, probably should not be your first pick to be in a room with youthful minds inspiring them to stay in school and do their work you know um <clears throat> so exactly what i had questioned them on ended up happening that i said that was actually one of the main things that i had mentioned to them i said it's getting posted to a site how do we work how do you know it's us and not someone off the street? And, the and they like, oh, don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. You're going to be able to work every day. Come great. in as always. And that was not true. That was not true. Uh, on top of it, I'm the one that's treated the worst of the subs. There are subs, some that are still given priority and scheduled ahead of time. But to be fair, there's a mother that works at the school that has uh, her own students at the school. And um, she told me that she's not getting called at all. And the one or two days she got called that month was because a teacher had specifically uh, put in her name into the system so that she could work. So the sub caller was willing to call someone off the street who has a GED when you had this nice mother that has children at the school who has her own kids there and who lives down the street comes on scooter push scooter <laughs> and and uh it's certainly not normal so again i'm filming this on thursday in the early evening and <clears throat> when the transition notification happened i ran and got what was at the time in quote my second job which ended up being a job i really like i really enjoy i've made friends and now this has become my priority. And I realize that number one, when I've been navigating the two jobs, plus navigating primarily the mistreatment of the subbing environment, that the subbing environment and this yo-yo work, don't work, has been affecting my immune system, my ability to rest, take care of myself. And I think that's why I got sick last week. So what I'm realizing is if you take just today as an example, uh, I wasn't scheduled. I don't know if I'm getting scheduled. I don't know what's happening. If I stay up, so 11, 12 at night, and I won't be able to sleep because that's what happened the last time. I couldn't sleep because I, I don't know if she secretly has scheduled me. So last time I'm, I can't sleep, I'm getting up every 30 minutes to check the site to see if she scheduled me. That'll affect my sleep. That'll affect my second job. So I had to make a decision. It's 2.30. I'm not scheduled. I'm blocking off the site. And I wrote, I was available. It's 2.30 now. I'm not coming in tomorrow. I'm not available tomorrow because I need to protect the job that is important to me, which is my second job. Technically now my priority a subbing is one way or another going to go, you know, downhill. It has. And as people told me in the past, when I started to tell them some of these stories that had been happening with the subbing, they said sometimes the universe, you know, this is the kick in the butt that I needed. And sometimes it happens in a way that we didn't intend. We didn't want to be like, oh, it went downhill. Now what do I do to make up for this income? You don't want to have to deal with that. But in the long run, I know that if I could figure this out, I'll be better for it in the long run. So I love that I'm documenting my life because it's a good thing to do. <laughs> so and I've never been good at journaling. I read that meme. I was telling my dad about it. And they're like, every year you buy the journal the gel markers, the stickers. Don't do it. You are not that person. You know this about yourself. I thought that was hysterical because every year I've done that, bought like the stickers and the journal, the gel, all that stuff. And, try, and actually, no, I used to have gel pens when I was younger. 
and like been like, I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna do this, and I've never been that type of person. So I have to be honest with myself, but I wanna do it, I, I wanna try. I feel like I'll be more productive if I do. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all so much. I'm gonna go back inside and technically potty and then head off to the grocery store. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Dino also says hello and I will see you soon in my next video. I have, oh, I have Patreon and channel memberships and I will see you soon in my next video and bye.